Hey guys, and welcome back. So in the previous nuggets, we had talked about how we could modify our run levels. We could use the command init as well as tell init which would be the preferred method and as opposed to being able to change our particular run level we could also modify what particular services were starting or stopped during a particular run level now the way we actually saw this was by renaming sim links so we would ultimately move a particular sim link to rename it and if it started with an s we could change it to begin with a k and ultimately modify the behavior. Now, this is not the most practical way to do such a thing, and we do have different commands that we can use to ultimately modify and determine when services are started or stopped. Now, we have two commands. The first one is called check config or chk config. This command is going to be based on Red Hat based systems. So on your Ubuntu machine, this command is not going to be present. Instead, if you're using a Debian based machine such as Zubuntu or Ubuntu, the command we're going to use instead will be update, in fact let me just write that a little bit clearer, hyphen rc.d. Now this actually looks like a directory but no indeed this is actually the command you would use on a Debian based system. So right now I want to demonstrate the check config command and as we know this is not available on a Debian based system so what I've actually done in the meantime is I've actually booted up a Rocky Linux distribution which I have on my computer. Now Rocky Linux happens to come from Red Hat so because it is Red Hat based we're going to have the check config command. So if I go into the man page for check config we can see this utility updates and queries run level information for system services. Now we have all of these different options we can go through but one thing I will say is that when we try to use this command such as check config dash dash list and in fact it would help if I could type this correctly <laughs> so check config notice we have some crucial information it says here the sysv configuration data might be overridden by the native systemd pretty much what I'm saying is that whilst this command is actually available here we have a man page for it because we are now using modern systemd we're actually not really getting the output from the check config dash dash list option which is a little bit unfortunate like I say this is a bit of a problem when we're dealing with such old legacy based systems but for the purposes of the examination you just want to be able to understand the basic syntax now ordinarily if we were on a much older machine this command would actually output the particular service such as maybe network manager and it would also tell you for every single run level if this service is on or off. So you might see zero for run level zero and then the word off. Of course, run level zero is a shutdown state, so that would make sense. But we would also have one for run level one. That could also be off. And then two and three and four, all the way up to six. You kind of get the drift. Maybe you'll see on number three that the network manager is on perhaps. And the output of this command would show you this information for all of the services on the system so you would be able to determine from that output oh that service is switched on at run level 5 for example but switched off at run level 3 and with this command what you can also do is modify this setting so let's maybe say you were on a particular system and the Bluetooth service was switched off. So pretty much you did your check config list and you saw for all the run levels Bluetooth was off. What you then could do is you could type the command check config Bluetooth on and then hit enter. Now as it transpires this is not going to work on my modern based system but nevertheless for the purposes of the examination this would be the syntax you would use and if you wanted to switch it off we could just say off. Now if you wanted to control a particular service and for run level 3 we could switch that service on. Now if you wanted to change a particular service turn it on or turn it off but at a specific run level the check config command would also allow you to do that. You could say something like say check config network manager to take the network manager service you can say dash dash level 3 for example and turn it on for level 3 then if you happen to confirm this by using your dash dash list command suddenly for the network manager service you would see for run level 3 this was on or if you wanted to turn it off you could do a very similar thing you could just say 
you know, check config for network manager. At run level three, I want to turn it off. So check config makes this really quite easy to be able to manage these types of services as opposed to you manually having to go in and rename all of these sim links, which is really quite messy. Now, like I say, this would be the solution you would use on a Red Hat based system. Let me just turn off this machine here, okay? And let me open up my Zubuntu machine. Okay, so we go back to our Zubuntu machine. If I go into the man page for update-rc.d, we can see this is used to remove and install system v style and that script links. So if we go down to the example, you can see some of the example syntax we can use. And what we can also do is we can actually use the update rc command to specify which levels to start or stop a particular script. So what I could say here, for example, I could say updates hyphen rc.d, which is the command, and then give the name of the service that maybe be something like say an Apache 2 server. And I could start that and then I'll give a priority value, let's just maybe say 10. And then I can specify the run levels where I would want the Apache 2 service to actually start. So I could say at run level 2, 3, 4 and 5, we would want it to start. And then I can do a dot to separate this out and then say we would want this service to stop at run level 0, which is shut down. Also at run level 1 and run level six, of course, because that is the reboot state, and then another dot. And suddenly, with a lot of granular control, we can specify whether a particular service starts at all these different run levels and when it should be stopped. So again, if I decided that, you know what, I only want it to run at run level five, I could start it at run level five and make sure it's stopping at two, three, four, as well as obviously 0 and 6. Now, like I say, the big disadvantage here is that these tools are pretty much antiquated. And this is the frustrating part, at least on my opinion, with its heavy presence in the LPIC2 examination. But nevertheless, even though we are almost always using systemd based systems in modern Linux system administration, we do have to be aware of these legacy tools and these legacy systems. So we have the update rc.d command on Debian based systems. Again, this is going to allow you to control what particular services are starting and stopping at particular run levels. And with Red Hat based systems, we can do a similar thing with the check config command. Now these two commands ultimately do very, very similar things, but as we can see here, the syntax is a little bit different. So I really would encourage you to read the man pages in their entirety to help you understand the differences with respect to the syntax and the options that each command provides. Okie dokes, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.